Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Alhamdulillah. Hamdan kathiran tayyiban mubarakan fi. Kama yuhibbu rabbuna wa yarda. Ikhwani fillah. Barakallahu fikum. We thank Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Alhamdulillah. We finish al-mushtaqat. And as we're going to read in this passage here, completing the mushtaqat, we have accomplished something very great now and i i mentioned this several times but before the mushtaqat we took the verbs as far as the maldi and mudari and amr the past tense the future tense and the command verb in addition to that we took two more things about the verb we took that it also comes lazim or fi'l muta'addi we also took concerning the verb that it comes mabni lil ma'loom, mabni lil majhool. Then we took there's a clear connection between a mustard and the verb. But the verb can be changed to a mustard, and mustard can be changed to a verb. We studied all that. Then after that, we took some things like lamma k, wal k, and we started with the mushtaqat al thamania. The things eight things eight parts of speech that are extracted from the verb Naam. what's the difference of opinion some see that they are extracted from the master but for the sake of learning for the sake of learning i chose to teach that it's well, extracted and derived from the verb so you can see the verb and then you can see that so we took the mushtaqat al thamania which are ism fa'il siga al mubalagha Ism maf'ool, ism tafdeel, before ism tafdeel, asifa al mushabbaha wa ism tafdeel. Those are five. In the last three, we took it together in one lesson because of the resemblance, because the scales that they're on. And that is ism makan, ism zaman, and ism al ala. With that, we have finished verbs. And we finish the mustar and mushtaqat al the eight words or parts of speech. With that, we're going to read from this passage. From here, we're going to move on to a greater topic, which is connected to sentences. Naqra, and I want you all to translate. You all are translating. And I want some participation from the brothers and sisters online. Ya sahib al al Arabiya. احمد الله فإنك قد استفدت خيرا كثيرا ما معنى هذا يا صاحب اللغة العربية احمد الله and I praise Allah فقد فإنك قد استفدت خيرا كثيرا a lot of good you have benefited a lot of good. Nah, we have benefited a lot of good. When you say sahib something, it means like the one who preoccupies himself or sticks. Like suhba, it means mulazima, that he's always doing this thing. I nah, mean, he's always doing it. So it's not like uh, it's companionship, but it's that he, you lazima, who he's always doing it. Nah, and the companion, somebody is always with his companion. Uh -uh. But this is the one who is preoccupied and his main uh, objective is Arabic. Istafada comes from the word istafada. Istafada, he benefited. Istafada, and the, the harf al uh, illa was, is taken away. Wahada bi fadlillahi wahda. What does that mean? Wahada bi fadlillahi wahdahu. But this is from the goodness of Allah alone. Qad darasta al af'al al thalatha al madi wal mudari wal amr. You studied the three verbs. Qad darasta al af'al al thalatha. The madi. Al Mudari Wal Amr Mafoon. Everything's understood. Thumma Darasta Al Mustar Wal Mushtaqat. Then you studied the Mustar and then you studied Al Mushtaqat. 
the derivatives, the things that are derived from the verb, eight things. فَعْلَمْ أَنَّ هَذِهِ الْأَفْعَالِ وَالْأَسْمَاءِ هِيَ مَادَّةُ اللُّغَةِ الْعَرَبِيَّةِ وَأَسَاسُهَا نا نا هذه الأفعال والأسماء هي not these are these verbs and nouns these verbs and nouns are the mad mad to look at the Arabic. This is the topic of Arabic. This is where Arabic is. وأساسها. This is where Arabic is. If you want to know where Arabic is, what is the topic? It's these things. The af'al al-thalatha, the mustar, wal mushtaqat. That's what Arabic is. It is unfair to tell somebody the Arabic is vocabulary words. Then you just confuse. You don't put any type of organization, no type of system. If it's just going to be vocabulary words. When you categorize it and standardize it, it becomes something recognizable. Now, are you all with us online? هذه الأس هذه فعلم أن هذه الأفعال والأسماء هي مادة اللغة العربية وأساسها. This is the topic of Arabic. This is what Arabic is. This is the foundation of Arabic. You grow in Arabic and you want to proceed in Arabic. This is what you have to know. This is what you have to know. What does mad that mean? Mad is a subject. Like when somebody's studying engineering in school, you say, what's your mad? It's mad. This is major. The subject um, that he's studying. Tell you. فَعْلَمْ أَنَّ هَذِهِ الْأَفْعَالِ وَالْأَسْمَاءِ هِيَ مَادَّةُ اللُّغَةِ الْعَرَبِيَةِ وَأَسَاسُهَا um, those that are coming in with four lines down. Those that are coming in with four, four lines down. Know that these verbs and these nouns, what verbs? Meaning the Maldi and Mudari and the Amr. And these nouns, the Musta and all the Mustaqat, all those things that we have taken, they are the subject of Arabic and the foundation of Arabic. This is what you have to learn. Now, so if you're here in this topic and you don't know Fit Mudari, you're not going anywhere. If you don't know Phil Amr, you're not going anywhere from here. You, this is the basis here. You have to know these fundamentals. This is what you have to know. Nuh -uh. You can't run around and skip around in Arabic. You don't know how, how to do the Phil Amr. You don't know how to you know, conjugate the Maldi. You don't know the difference from Issa Maf'ul and uh, uh, Madha. And uh, 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 the connection between the two, Mabin Ma'loom, Ism Fa'il. You don't know the connection, the resemblance of Asifa al Mushabaha, or Ism al Tafdeel, is everything that we've been doing. And the different scales of the Ism Makan, or Ism Zaman, or Ism al Ala. And you know these things. This is what Arabic is. That's what Arabic is. That's just the foundation, that's the topic. That's just the foundation. So now, Barakallah Fiku, may Allah reward you all. You have got the foundation. You've got the foundation. Now you can grow. Now you can look up a word and be like, oh, that's Islam McCann. Doesn't just mean West. It doesn't just mean West. No, it's Islam McCann. That's Islam of That's Islam Fa'il. Have the Mughayyid is Siga, which you also call Mabin Lil Majhul. It has two names. Are you all with me online? So if you need to review something, go back and review. Naam. But this is what Arabic is. It's these things here. And this is why it's very important to study sarf before now. Now is going to teach you when to say yadhabu or yadhaba or yadhab. You don't know when to say yadhab or tadhab or yadhabun or tadhabin. Why are you looking at the end? You didn't know how to conjugate it in the first place. Now I'm just going to have you look at the end of it. Now, -uh. are you with us online? No, -uh. but let's continue.
Okay, let's go back here. هذه فعلم أن هذه الأفعال والأسماء هي مادة اللغة العربية وأساسها هي الكلمات القرآنية والألفاظ النبوية. These are the words of the Quran. These are the words of the Quran. Like we're not going to look at it like a sata, a meme, and a sheen. So, no, that's just fine. Not saying mubarak. No, whatever the meaning is going to be, we're going to look at But I reckon that's in Mubarak. That's for the Ummah. That's Mughayyir Siga. I see the thumbs at the beginning. It's Mughayyir Siga. That's Ism Fa'al. That's Ism Tafdeel. Nah. These are the words of the Quran. You studied all the scales, not the scales, all the mishtaqat, all the different forms of speech. These are the kalimat of the of the Quran. These are the wordings of the Sunnah of the Prophet. Have the alfaz and nabawiya. Lakin, however, lakin al kalam al Arabiyu yashtaritu an yakuna mufidan. However, you all, you all, you all, tell me what does that mean? This is on you all. Well, lakin. الكلام العربي يشترط أن يكون مفيدا When the Arabic speech, Arabic speech You don't have to say the Arabic speech Arabic speech requires that it is مفيدا مفيدا means it has to convey a meaning where You say it in Arabic يحسن سكوت Al Mutakalam. That the speaker is quiet after he made this statement, everybody understands what he said. I go say Ja Muhammadan, and I was quiet. You won't understand. Like hey, Muhammad came. Uh-uh. After if I said, I'm not I said, I saw, and I was quiet there. No, that's not mufid. That's not beneficial. It has to be mufid. It has to be a complete. Complete beneficial sentence if it's Kalam Arabi. Yeah. So now you have to learn where you can stop, how to make a complete sentence. Arabic is no longer words. For it to be Arabia, it has to be Mufidan. Mufidan, it means, it's going to come in Nahu in our next book, inshallah. Yahsunu, Yahsunu is Fat Madad or Fat Lazim. Imagine who Hassan. يحسن سكوت المتكلم بمعنى سكوت المتكلم حسن that the speaker stops speaking at this point is a good place to stop if I said I went to the school that's a complete sentence if I said if you go to the school and I stop there no you, you can't stop there that's not kalam you can't stop in the middle right there and just be quiet you being quiet there is not mufid, is not beneficial. Kalam al Arabi, yashtarad an yakun mufidan. It required that as mufid. What is mufid? That when the speaker is quiet, a complete meaning has been conveyed. Nah. So I don't care what words you come with. It's not about words now, it's about a sentence. How do you make a sentence that's complete, a beneficial sentence? Now you studied, I already know you studied Fit Mahdi, you studied Fit Mudari, you got the Masad, you got Isma Fool, you got all that. But how do you make a sentence now? Are you all with us online? It's just not about that. Now, how do you make a sentence? It has to be Mufidan. Mama Nufid Mufid, Yahsunu Sukutu al Mutakalimi. Yeni Sukutu al Mutakalim, Hassan Fidak and Makan. When the speaker is quiet at that space and he stops speaking and he's finished, a complete thought has been projected and conveyed to the listener. He's not hanging, waiting for more. Let's continue. Because the Arabic language is conveying iradat, things that you desire and meanings. Things that you intend to say, iradatin, min nawaya, your niyas, conveying something that you're trying to convey. And you're conveying meanings, or has a complete, has to be a complete message. 
فإنه أي الكلام من يسوس فإنه أي الكلام العربي يبين it explains إرادات desires wants object يعني objectives ومعاني and meanings وهذا يلزم أن الكلمات تركب في جمل مفيدة what does that mean وهذا يلزم what does that mean وهذا يلزم Where's no, there's no is. هذا يلزم. This necessitates fit in mudale. هذا يلزم أن الكلمة تركب. Are formulated. The words are put together في جمل مفيدة. That this is what Arabic is. That you take these words and you put them together. You pile them up together in a complete sentence. These mushtaqat athmania, these eight derivatives that you got, and what you know about the mad and the and the amr, and what you know about the masr, you have to put them together. Fi jumalin mufida. You have to put them together in beneficial sentences. It has to be a beneficial sentence. No. Are you all with me? Abdul Sabah, everything's clear. Brothers and sisters online. Allah. فإن الكلمات في اللغة العربية واسعة مثل البحر. ما معنى هذا؟ As spacious as the ocean. There's so many words. فَإِنَّ الْكَلِمَاتِ فِي اللُّغَةِ الْعَرَبِيَّةِ وَاسِئَةٌ مِثْلُ الْبَحْرِ It's endless. It's endless. The ocean, not the sea. The nahr is the sea. مِثْلُ الْبَحْرِ It's endless. It's too vast. So you have to, you have to confine it some way. قَالَ وَالْجُمَلُ هِيَ مِثْلُ الصُّفُنْ تَحْمِلُ مُعَانِيَ الْكَلِمَاتِ إلى شواطئ قلوب الناس والجمل هي مثل الصفن. What does that mean? الجمل هي مثل الصفن. Sentences are like ships that ride on the ocean. Sentences are like a ships. What's who are the passengers on these ships? Words. Sentences are like ships. نعم تحمل معاني الكلمات they carry the meanings of the words إلى شواطئ قلوب الناس to the shores of the people's hearts نعم these sentences like it carries the word across the ocean of all these words the sentence carries the sentence all the way to shore right to your heart نعم if not it's just going to get lost in the ocean Nah, -uh. if not, it would just get lost in the ocean. Are you all with us? For him to have the Yaisa. So Naid, how we doing online? How we doing online? The sentences are like ships. Nah, -uh. and they carry. Tahmilu ma'ani al kalimat. They carry the meaning of these words to the shores of your heart, like to the to the to the to the safe ground. Right where the process of understanding is. Allah. فَإِذَا عَرَفْتَ أَنْوَاءَ الْأَفْعَالِ وَالْمُشْتَقَّاتِ If you know the different kinds of verbs and the مُشْتَقَّاتِ and you know all these nouns and verbs فَعَلَيْكَ الْآنْ أَنْ تَتَعَلَّمْ أَنْوَاءَ الْجُمَلِ Now you have to learn the different kinds of sentences. Now you know the words. You got all the parts of speech. Now you have to look at sentences. فَإِذَا عَرَفْتَ أَنْوَاءَ الْأَفْعَالِ What does that mean? أَنْوَاءَ الْأَفْعَالِ The kinds of verbs. وَالْمُشْتَقَاتِ The different kinds of مُشْتَقَاتِ فَعَلَيْكَ الْآنِ So now that you have to learn أَنْ تَتَعَلَّمْ أَنْوَاءَ الْجُمَلِ You have to learn the different kinds of sentences. لِكَيْ تُبَلِّغَ بِهَذِهِ اللُّغَةِ الْمُبَارَكَةِ مَا تُرِيدُ وَمَا تَعْنِي 
What does that mean? لكي تبلغ بهذه اللغة المباركة ما تريد وما تعني ما معنى لكي تبلغ In order to convey what you want What are you trying to say? ما تريد وما تعني تعني what you mean what, you, what you're trying to say You have to learn how to put in a sentence now You have to learn how to put in a sentence We can't say then bait and fee rakibun That's not gonna come like that you can't just put any words together and you know all of them. No, it can't come like that. Uh -uh. So you can convey what you desire, what you mean. Uh -uh. That's the first reason. لِكَيْ تُبَلِّقَ بِهَذِهِ اللُّغَةِ الْمُبَارَكَةِ مَا تُرِيدْ وَمَا تَعْنِي وَكَذَلِكَ تَفْهَمْ مَا يُرَادُ مِنْهَا وَتَفْهَمْ مَا يُرَادُ مِنْهَا هذا ما بني للمجهول and you can understand what's intended from it when words come to you sentences come to you things that you read what what is the intent you have to understand the different kinds of sentences don't look at it at words now these are not words that are coming to you these are sentences this is how you want to look at arabic now sentences are you all with us online right and you understand what's intended from word. What's intended? Nah. Kala, walikayla taghrika fi bahr al karimat wa amwaj al maani fatah Allah lak wa aalak. Walikayla taghrik. What does that mean? Walikayla taghrika. And so that you don't drown fil bahr al karimat. In the ocean of words. How many people have drowned in the ocean of words? They have a list of words here, list of words here, all these words. You still can't speak. You still can't even say anything. You can't understand. Like all these words, all these did was just drown. It's too many words. You can't look at it as words. And the waves just mean so what the meaning is like waves, they high, but you lost in the meaning. You're lost. You probably know every word in the sentence. I don't know what he's saying. You ever have that feeling before? Hey, we have that feeling. You know every word, but I can't understand what he's trying to say. Right. You get lost in the waves of the meaning. What does that mean? Man, that opens up for you and help you. Yeah. They say in Lugal Arabiya, when you make in dua for somebody, you say Fatahallahu Lak. And we make it against them, Fatahallah Alaik. Fafatahna alayhim. So sometimes when it comes the Allah is against. When you say Fatahallahu Lak, it's always for. But doesn't mean that Allah is always meaning that it's against them, but this is better. Fatahallahu lak. Tayyib, this is surah in surah, is the ayat in surah al an'am that uses fatah uh, alayhim, and Allah destroyed them. Tayyib, naqra ma ba'dahu ikhwani fillah, we're on page one, number 15, one, 105. Did we understand that which preceded? Did we understand that which preceded? Tayyib. Ya, y'all are translating. You all are translating. Ya talib al-ilm, saddallahu hajatak. Ya talib al-ilm, saddallahu hajatak. May Allah fulfill your need. Now, sadda, sadda means to close something. Right? Sadda is to seal something. Like you have a need and they fulfill it. May Allah fulfill your need. Wasaddada khutaka fi nailiha. Wasaddada. The first verb is sadda. The second verb is saddada. Khutaka fi nailiha. Why may he guide you in your footsteps in getting your needs. May he fulfill your needs and may he guide your footsteps in achieving it. Wa'alam anna al-jumla tanqasim ila qismaini. What does that mean? Wa'lam anna al-jumla tanqasimu ila qismaini. 
Five sentences on two categories. Are y'all with us online? Know that sentences are on two categories. Al Jumla al Fi'liya wal Jumla al Ismiya. A sentence that starts with a verb, sentence that starts with a noun. A verb sentence, a noun sentence. Okay, listen. We're finished with the word. We're finished. We're finished. We're going to look at it with a whole different aspect now. Now, this is a major step. Ask Allah for tawfiq. Qala hafidhuhullahu ta'ala addas al-khamis ashar. Addas al-khamis ashar. Al-jumla al-fi'liya. Ya ikhwani. Now, when we're going, listen, let me tell you right now. You're not learning anything new. We're going to just read. We're just now putting things in perspective. Okay? Sentences are easy. But I want you to look at Arabic in a different, in a, in a different view. From a different angle, different aspect. So now I'm going to come with simple sentences. Now, I'm simple words because I want you to look at the whole picture now. Now, yep. All the half of the whole law. Al Jumla al Fi'liya. Al Jumla al Fi'liya. He al Jumla al Leti Tabda bi Fi'lin. What does that mean? That's it. So, you said, you're going to be very key when you're reading. If you see a sentence starts with a verb, you're going to be able to dissect it. You know what's coming. You know what it needs. That's it. We're not going to, we're, we're not going to talk about the Jumma al-Ismiya. If a if sentence starts with a verb, then it has to have bam, 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 or bam. There's no other choice to it. There's no other choice. That's it. Nah. Al-Jumla al-Fi'liya hi al-Jumla al-Lati tabda'u bi-Fi'lin. It starts with a verb. The first word is a verb. It starts with a verb. You know, it, it entails, it contains. That's what's in the sentence. Tetakawanu means that it consists of. It entails from Kana. Tatakawanu min fi'lin wa fa'ilin wa maf'ulin bi. You ever heard these words before? Fa'il, fa'il, maf'ulin bi. Right now, you heard it before, but it was just, we had to mention at that time. Now we're going to look at it. Naam. Let's look at the word fa'il. What does fa'il mean? Al fa'il in ma ma'adin aw mudari aw amr. We understand. Nothing new. We're just going to be reading. Nothing new. We already know this. But listen to this here. Listen to this. فَإِذَا كَانَ الْفِعْلَ لَازِمًا اِكْتَفَى بِفَاعِلٍ What does that mean? إِذَا كَانَ الْفِعْلَ لَازِمًا اِكْتَفَى بِفَاعِلٍ What's the word? What are you going to say about اِكْتَفَى? Sufficient. The file is sufficient. So listen up. Let's, let's take two things now. If we say we see a sentence start with a verb, we know that's a jumla fi'li. Then we want to see if it's a fi'lazim or fi'l muta'addi. If it's fi'lazim, it only needs a file, it doesn't need a maf'ulin bi. Al jumla al fi'li, what is it? It's a jumla that starts with a verb and it has a fi'l, a file. One of all in B. But if the sentence, if that verb is laziman, is a fair lazim, it only needs a file. The sentence will not have in it a of all in B. You know it. Shouldn't you see the sentence? Matter Zayden, you, you're not looking for nothing else. Because it's a lazim. Are you with us online? Are you with us online? This is Arabic. No. Again, for either can el fi'l laziman iktafa is sufficient be fa'il. It. It's, it's, it, it only needs a fa'il. Al fa'il, what is fa'il? 
الفاعل اسم ظاهر او ضمير اكبي اسم ظاهر لايك اكل محمد نام محمد نسي نام محمد محمد is the فاعل اكبي اسم ظاهر او اكبي نمتو it could be a pronoun. What does nimtu mean? Where's the file? That ta. Nimtu. It could be a total noun or it could be a pronoun. It could be ism lawyer or damir. Are you all with us online? How are we doing online? I'm going to. You already know. Hold on. You know this one before? It's not new. Now we're formatting it. We're putting everything together. Naam. But now. You heard this word file before, right? But now we're looking at it specifically. What is the file? A file is ism vahiran. Oh, I wrote this word damir, because you know the word. It's more appropriate for me to say mudmar. I, I left that word, and I'm open for criticism. I just want to cater to my students. That's all. I just want to cater to my students. Now, I'm, I'm going to come with the mustalah, the terminology that they know. But it would be more correct for me to say mudmar. Now, there's no problem. Ism vahir o damir wa huwa levi fa'ala al fa'al. Huwa levi, the fa'al, huwa levi fa'ala al fa'al. What does that mean? It's the one that did the verb, he did the action. He's the one who did it. Namat Fatima. Who who slept? Fatima. Nah. The file. Why is it called fa'il? Like you fa'ala al fa'il. He did the verb. He did the verb. Wa yakun imma nakiratun o ma'rifatan. Yakun imma nakiratan o ma'rifatan. We know these words. It could be indefinite. It could be definite. Zakaran o unsa. Naam, it could be masculine or feminine. Mufradan or Muthanna or Jama'an. Everything is understood. Abdul Subha, are you with us? Brothers and sisters online. It could be singular, it could be what? Dual, or it could be plural. Everything is clear. Right, now just look at our sentence. We have Iqra with him. Nama Atiflu Wanimtu. What does that mean? Nama al-tiflu thumma nimtu. Then I slept. Look what's read. I don't know if everybody has, has, has uh, a colored book or uh, online, but look what's read. Nama al-tiflu. The file is what is read. The file is read. Nama al-tiflu. That's the file. Wanimtu. That tie is the file. How are we doing online? Tayyip. In Sadamat Sayyaratun. What does that mean? In Sadamat Sayyaratun. A car crash. I made this one Nakira. It could be Nakira. In Sadamat Sayyaratun. Tayyip. Listen to this. Listen to this. Is this Lazim or is it Muta'addi? It's Lazim. Okay. The car crash. But sometimes you can have somebody who crashed the car into the building. So I want you to take a wild guess. A wild guess. In Sadamat, in, in Sadama is Muta'ad, is Lazim. In Sadama is Lazim. What do you think the Muta'addi is? Sadama. Sadama Ahmed Sayyaratahu. He crashed his car. In Sadamat as Sayyara, the car crashed. I didn't want to mention who did it. My father's going to be upset. I mentioned his name. So I just say, in Sadamat Asayahara. I'm not going to mention no names. I'll just say, in Sadamat Sayahara. No. If I was very clear, I would say, Sadama Ahmadu Asayar. Sadama. No. Are you all with us online? Tayyip. Fala'at Ashamsu. Talaat al-shamsu. What does that mean? The sun rose. Safar, that, that's, that's ma'rifa. Safara al-rajulani. Safara al-rajulani. The two men travel. 
قومي يا فاطمة Where's the فاعل؟ Yeah, that's why I made it red. So just to have your eyes open. Now, when I make it red, I don't have to teach the lesson. You could just iqra with him. So I want you to just read and understand. Umi ya Fatima. The verb, the verb needs a, a, a file. And that's the file there. Umi ya Fatima. The file is the pronoun. Ta'iba al musafiruna min tool is safari. What does that mean? Ta'iba al musafiruna min tool is safar. From the long travel. The travelers became, they became tired. Not like they are tired, they became tired. Ta'iba. They became tired. I want you all to. Let's read one more before I make this statement. Tazawarat al Muslimatu. And I want the translation. I want you to get. get where your, your ishti, ishtiqaq? Where's your mushtaqat science? Where's your strength to divide, to derive? Tazawarat al Muslimat. They visited one another from Zara Yazul. They visited one another. Okay. I want you to look at this. This is not our topic. This is not our topic. But look at the first three sentences. It says, Atiflu Sayyaratun Shamsu. So the Dhamma is the sign that something is a file. If it's singular, Rajulani. Aleph is a sign that something's fa'il if it's mufanna. Musafirun. Wow is, is a sign that something's fa'il if it's plural and it's a noun, not a verb. Uh -uh. But the wow is fa'il. Uh -uh. Muslimatu. Adamma. It's a sign that something's fine if it's Jamit Mu'annaf Asalam. It's another sign, not just the meaning. We're going to continue. Maf'ulun B, number three. Why is this number three? Because we said that Al Fi'l, Al Jumul Fi'liyah, Al Jumul Fi'liyah, it starts with a fail. It consists of three things. What does it consist of? Fail, fail, and Al fail, what is a fail? Al madi, al mudari, wal amr. Tayyib. If it's a fail, lazim, what does that mean if it's fail, lazim? It just needs a fail. Okay, what is a fail? A fail is a noun, either it's law here or it's mudmar. It's either an open, uh, a clear pronoun, or it's either a pronoun, a noun or a pronoun. Naam. Well, who will let the fa'ala and fi'l is the one that did the action. And it could be what? Singular or plural, nakira, ma'rifa. Now, maf'ulim bi. What is the maf'ulim bi? This is where we're at. Al maf'ulim bi. إذا كان الفعل متعديا إذا كان الفعل متعديا فهو يحتاج إلى فاعل ومفعول به. ها. Okay, hold on now. We have a جملة فعلية. It started with a verb, and this verb is متعدي. All of a sudden, look, I gotta find where this فاعل is, and I gotta find this مفعول. That's the only thing in your mind. Nothing else is that's the only thing you're looking for. If it has a sign of a file, like it has a dhamma, or has an aleph, or has a noon, how? I mean, a while, I found the file. He's the one that did the action. I got you. You're going to put things together, whether he's in the front, whether he's at the end, this end, wherever he's at. But listen to this the file has to come after the fit. This is a human fit, yeah. So listen. If you see a verb, no matter what, you're going to be looking, where is the file? 
whether it's laz or muta'addi, it has to happen. Then there's some sign that something's a fire. How we know it's a fire? That is, is it masculine or feminine? No, that's not enough. Because my father could be masculine and feminine. No, that's not what I'm looking for. It has some signs. So, Dhamma, Aleph, wow. Yeah. Right. Listen, this is Arabic. So, when you see a verb, this is what you're looking for so you can understand. Where's the fire? I could get, I just want to know who did the action. You're trying to understand. That's what you do now when you're speaking Arabic. And that's when you're speaking, you have to make, you can't say Rajulain, you have to say Rajulan. You can't say Muslimin, you have to say Muslimun now. Yeah, you got to watch what you're saying. Yeah. Are you all with us online? Are you all with us online? So if the verb is muta'ad, if the verb is muta'adin, it still needs a file. And it also needs a maf'ulin bi. What is this maf'ulin bi? Qal al maf'ulin bi, al maf'ulu bi, huwa ism, zahirun aw damir. It would be better for me to say mudmar, where I can just cater to my students. I'll take the blame. Let them shoot at me. Let them say this brother don't know. I'm just when it catered to my students. Nah, -uh. I want you to understand. That's all. Nah, -uh. if they don't say I don't know, I, it's no problem. It's no problem. The main thing you will understand. Nah, -uh. really, I want somebody just to pick up this book and read it on themselves and understand. Nah, -uh. that's why. Mufulim bi wa ism dahir al damir. This is for the one that the fiddle came on him. He didn't do anything. He didn't do anything. Nah. -uh. The fiddle did the fiddle, but the fiddle fell down on him. On the muff olden bee. Let's read. The Ikra what from is gonna make it all clear that we're not gonna have to speak. Okay, look at what's read. What's read is the muff olden bee. يكتب المدرس أسماء الطلاب كل يوم. عند جاب الصبور. يكتب المدرس أسماء الطلاب كل يوم. The teacher writes the names of the students every day. Where's the file? What does it have that is a sign as a file? A dumb. A dalif lam. A dalif lam. That's not a sign. A dumb. Asma al Tulab, number of Ulam B. Let's get some Mansub in the Fatah. Uh -uh. So the Muf Ulam B has signs. Okay. It's either a Fatah or it's a Ayah, like it's going to be what? Muslimin. Or it's going to be an Araf instead of Abu Hurairah, it's going to be Abba Hurairah. Uh -uh. It's going to be a Ya instead of Rajulani, it's going to be Rajulani. And you're going to get familiar with that slowly. That's not our topic. That's now. And that's going to be in book three. But now you're just going to get familiar with it slowly, slowly. Are you all with us online? Are you with us online? How y'all doing? Type Indik Ya Mu'az. Ta'kulu Fatima ta'amaha fil ghurfa. تأكل فاطمة طعامها في الغرفة. بس استنى أكلت تأكل. لا أيد is past tense. This is future tense. In the room. Fatima eats her food. Where's the file? Fatima. Now, how do you know that Fatima? Because it has a dhamma. Because it has a dhamma. Fa'amaha, that's what's read. That's the maf'ul and B. Okay. Let's look back at the first sentence. Yaktubu al mudarris asma al This action of writing happened to the names. Waka alayhi al fi'l. This action fell on the names. That's what you call maf'ul and be. Look here. The food was eaten. So I want you to just look at this here. Look. Let's go back to look, look at the beginning. 
al mudarris al asma can we say al mudarris huwa al katib wal asma al maktub yes al mudarris huwa al katib ism fa'il wal asma hi maktub ism maf'ul as was called it's a fa'il ism maf'ul ism maf'ul bi ism maf'ul bi al asma maktub because it's maf'ul that's why it's called ism maf'ul and that's why it's called maf'ul bi there's a connection Let's go to the second sentence. Ta'kulu Fatima ta'amaha. Fa Fatima akil wa ta'am ma'kul. Maf'ul. The food didn't do anything. The food's not the file. The food was just sitting there minding his business. It's ma'kul. It's maf'ul. Are you all with us online? No. So the maf'ul and B is it didn't do anything. It didn't do anything. Something happened to it. The maf'ul and be didn't do anything. The fi'l, the action came on him. Came on it. Number three, indik ya dawu. Yagsilu attullabu malabisahum yawm al-khamis. The students, the students wash their clothing on Thursday. Where's the file? To love. How we know? How we know it's the file? Because of dumb. Not say because it makes sense. No, that's not. That's not. You know, that's not suitable. Because it has a dumb. We're not trying to uh, intellectualize the mean. No, if it's a dumb, that's enough. You are not doing it. You didn't write the sentence. Naam. Malabisahum. Their clothing. What did the clothing do? Nothing. The tulab, ghasinun. When malabis, magsula. It's washed. It's magsula. Tayyip. Next one, indik ya ghalib. Yatanawalu al maridu addawa fi sabah. Okay, but now listen, from today on, right, we're going to look at the Mahdi al Mudar. That's the first thing we want to eliminate that. Listen, after the day, first thing you eliminate, past tense, past, don't skip over it. The first thing that you want to tahkum and decide is it past tense or future tense? Don't jump over that. Nah, don't jump over that. Nah. The sick, the patient, takes his medicine in the morning. Ya Ikhwa, I want y'all to look at this. Takes the medicine. I want you to look at this. Look at the first sentence. Go back with me. It says, Yaktubu, that's the verb. Mudarrisu, that is what? Fa'al. Asma'a tulab is what? That's mudar mudafile. Look at this extra thing. It says, Kulla yawmin. That's Shibhu jumla. The sentence, it don't need it. The sentence don't need it. We're not going to be like, oh, confused. Just leave that off. Main thing is the fail file, my boy, it be. That's the main thing. Sentence can do without that. That's just going to make it a little bit more specific. That's called shibhu jumla. And this thing, it has to do with time. Look at the next one. Ta'kulu fa'atima ta'amaha fil gorfa. Ta'kulu, that's the fail. Fatima fa'al. Ta'amaha maf'ulan bi. Fil gorfa, does it jar wa majroor? Naam. Jar wa majroor. The sentence don't need it. That's shub'u jumla. That's something that's added to. Don't let that confuse you. Are you trying to figure out it? Get the fa'al, get the maf'ul in the fa'al, get the maf'ulan bi. Then we'll deal with them extra things later. Look at the next sentence. Yaksili, yaksilu. Attullah malabisahum yawm al-khamis. Yaksilu fa'il. Tullabu fa'il. Malabisahum maf'ulin bi. Okay, yawm al-khamis. Shubhu jumla. It's part of a sentence. He says, if the sentence can do it, I'll it. But just for further detailed, it was mentioned. Now look at this last one we took. Yatanawalu. Downstairs there. After that. 
Go back next wall, yeah. Yatanawalu al Maridu at Dawa Fis Sabah. Yatanawal fit Mudari. Al Maridu Fail. At the Wam of Ulambi. Fis Sabah, Jar of Jar Umajurur. It's just convinced actually mean it, but the sentence is complete without it. Like, don't let that, like, man, I don't, I don't know what this thing is saying. Are you with us online? Are you all with us online? This is how we're going to look at Arabic from here on out. We're going to dissect this sentence. And it's right in front of us. Next one. And the Isa. Yusalli al Muslimun salawatihim kulla yawmin wa laylatin. The Muslim pray their prayers every day. You salli fil mudali. Muslimun. Like that wow makes it the fa'il. That wow makes it the fa'il. Salawatihim. So if a verb, if a word has an extra alif or ta, like muslimat, they, it can't get a fatha. It can't get a fatha. There's no muslimatan in the Quran. Qani ta'tan, mu'minatan. No. It's mu'minatun or mu'minatin. There is no qani ta'tan. If it has an alif and a ta, it cannot accept a fatha. The kisra is in place of the fatha. Right? It's still mansubin, but it can't accept a fatha. Look at Arabia. The Arabs never said Muslimat tan. They never said that. They replaced the fatha with a kasra. That's not our lesson now, but that's a sign that something is what? Mansubin, maf'ul and be. This is the maf'ul and be here. Are you all with us online? Muslim pray their prayers every day and every night. Is every day and every night pertinent in this sentence? Is it a complete sentence without Kulayoman Walayla? Is it a complete sentence without that last part there? Nah. And we're about, to, we're trying to dissect the sentence and we're trying to attack the sentence and we're trying to understand. What we have to understand, if it starts with a verb, fa'il, fa'il, maf'ul and be. The fa'il is the one who did the fa'il, the maf'ul and be is the one that the fa'il fell on. And you salli al Muslimun, the Muslims they're doing this. The prayer, the prayer got prayed. The prayer didn't do anything, it got prayed. Now, um, next one, and the Gia Abdul Sabur. Zurna awlad ukhti al bariha. My sister's children. Zurna, is that, is this a Jumla fa'liya? Right, where's the fa'il? Zurna. Where's the file? Zurna. That's the file. That's the file. Zurna. If I just said Zurna and I was quiet there, Zurna, is that a complete sentence? No, you'll be waiting. Like, who did you visit? Because that's a fail mutaaddi. I can't stop there. I need a maf'ul and be. Who did you visit? Are you with us online? Zurna awlad ukhti is mudah mudafile. Awlad ukhti still needs a fatah, even though it's mudah mudafile. Zurna awlad ukhti. We visited my sister's children. Al bariha. What does al bariha mean? Last night. Last night. Taya, this one is a hard one here. This is my pothole that I put in the tariq. This is my pothole. This is a designer pothole. Ishtarahu Ahmedu. What does that mean, Ya Mu'ab? It fell on you. Ishtarahu Ahmedu. Ahmed bought it. Now, look, where's the file? It came later. We don't care. If it has a dhamma, we're going to call him the file. If it has a dhamma, it's file. Right? So why did the file have to come later? Because the pronoun is the mere. If the pronouns are the mere, it has to be attached to the fi'l. Darabahu Zaydun. Darabahu Zaydun. If the pronoun, if the muffin be is a pronoun, you can't you cannot say Daraba Ahmed who. Why can't you say? Daraba Ahmedu Ahua. 
هل ضربك أحمد I have to put Darabaka. Can I say, Hal Daraba Ahmed Anta? Why not? Because listen to this. I'm going to say it one time. It's not our topic. It's not, yeah, Abdul Sabur. Ana, wa nahnu, wa anta, it can only be marfu'an. It can't be mansubin. It cannot. If it's mansubin, it has to be, iyahu, wa iyaya, wa iyaka na'budu. Nah, -uh. if it's mansub, it has to be iyaya. If it's marfu'un, it has to be huwa wahiya. So when this is the maf'ulin b, you can't make maf'ulin b anta wahiya. It has to be iyaya. Okay. Tayyip. Ishtarahu ahmadu. Ahmadu is the fa'a because it has a dhamma. Not because it's layla, because it's nakira, because it's ma'rifat. No, because it has the dhamma. Nah, -uh. Ahmad bought it. Are, we, are, are you all with us online? Anything need clarification, let me know. Anything need clarification, let me know. Let's finish this section here. We're going to start. Any new words here? No new words. Why no new words? Because I'm, I'm trying to let you understand the form of the sentence. I'm not trying to go in vocabulary now. I want to make it the easiest I can make it. Now, I'm tired. Now, this one's on you, Yad Dawood. I preceded you all. I beat, I beat you all. I preceded you all. Where's the file? Two. Where's the mafun and be? Kum. So the file and the mafun and be, both of them can be a pronoun. Sabaktukum. Sabaktukum. Complete sentence. Sabaka is fa'il muta'addi. So it needs a file. We found it, sabak tu, and we found maful and b, sabak tu kum. This is our last sentence for the day. You know, I always like to throw these, these uh, phrases and things in our book so we can benefit. Qala Ali radiallahu anhu, qad darrakum man garrakum. Who did he say this to? What does this mean? Ali radiallahu anhu. He said it to these people, Qad darrakum. What does darra mean? Qad darrakum. Listen. Listen up. Listen up. Listen up. Listen up. Where is the fa'il? Qad darrakum. Man garrakum. Hmm? Where, where is the fa'il? Man. Darrakum man. Man is the fa'il. Man is the fire. He harmed you, the one who fooled you. He harmed you. They, but here is man, it means they. They harmed you, those that fooled you, those who tricked you. Who did he say this to? He said this to the Khawarij after he killed them. They're lying dead on the battlefield. The ones that fooled you, they don't want to cause you this harm. You're going to come to attack the Muslim leader? Don't say it that I did it. Darrakum man gharrakum. Gharra is to fool somebody. Gurur. Allah calls shaitan in the in the Quran al gurur Wa gharrakum billahi al gurur. The major deceiver deceives you. Wa gharrakum billahi gurur. Ya ayyuhal insan. Ma gharraka bi rabbika al kareem. What deceived you about your great Lord? Gharra. Right? Ali saying to them, Qaddarakum, it harmed you, man garrakum. The ones who deceived you with bid'ah coming against the Muslim and they got something wrong and this is haram. We're going to go straighten that out. Yeah, okay. This is Ali, when he's walking, he's walking through them and he sees them dead and he's saying, Qaddarakum, man garrakum. La ilaha illallah. Are you all with us online? Nah, um, nah, um, nah, um, it's harmed you, the ones who fooled you. Nah, um, this is our lesson for the day. Listen, there's nothing to review here. Everything is, you already studied this before. Nah, um, so we're going to move on. Nah, um, but just for the sake of reading, I want you to read these sentences tomorrow. That's on page 106 and 107. We just want to flow. Things are spotted in red. That cuts us the file on the second first group. On the second group, the things is read, that's the mafulim B.
tomorrow we're looking at the sentence kefa ta'lam al fa'il how do you know what the fa'il is inshallah we we'll look at that tomorrow this is our lesson for the day subhanakallahumma wa bihamdik shallallahu la ilaha illa ant stuck for the quran to be Uh, Arabic is fun now. All them words and that stuff. <laughs> now this is, you know, when we move. I just wonder what they do in these other classes. I just, you know. <laughs> Thank you.